नमस्कार आई अमित कुमार वेलकम यू ऑल इन आई एम डेली बी वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो इफ यू लुक एट द ऑब्जर्व रेनफॉल विच हैज अकर्ड फ्रॉम 8:30 थर्टी आवर्स ऑफ यस्टरडे टिल 8:30 थर्टी आवर्स ऑफ टूडे देन वी कैन सी दैट ओवर कोंकण एंड गोवा एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल हैज अकर्ड देन ओवर अरुणाचल प्रदेश वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल हैज अकर्ड ओवर मराठवाड़ा ऑल्सो एट वन स्टेशन वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल हैज अकर्ड ओवर ईस्ट यूपी गुजरात वेस्ट एम पी मध्य महाराष्ट्र विदर्भा तेलंगाना रायल सीमा सी ए पी कोस्टल कर्नाटका जी डब्ल्यू बी बिहार एस एच डब्ल्यू बी एंड असम एंड मेघालय हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज रिकॉर्डेड सो इफ यू लुक एट दिस स्टेट्स फ्रॉम टॉप फाइव रेनफॉल स्टेशन रिकॉर्डिंग स्टेशन दैन द दपोली इन रत्नागिरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट दैट रिकॉर्डेड 23 थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स मालवान इन सिंधुदुर्ग रिपोर्टेड ट्वेंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स मासला इन रायगढ़ रिपोर्टेड ट्वेंटी थ्री सेंटीमीटर्स मरूड इन रायगढ़ रिपोर्टेड इन ट्वेंटी वन सेंटीमीटर्स देन डोडा मार्ग इन सिंधुदुर्ग दैट ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल परनेम इन नॉर्थ गुजरात रिपोर्टेड नाइनटीन सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल इन एस एच डब्ल्यू वी इन जलपाईगुड़ी डिस्ट्रिक्ट गजोल डोबा रिपोर्टेड एटीन सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश इन लोहित डिस्ट्रिक्ट वाक्रो रिपोर्टेड फोर्टीन सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल एंड इन मराठवाड़ा रीजन इन जलना डिस्ट्रिक्ट मानथा रिपोर्टेड ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर्स ऑफ रेनफॉल सो यू कैन सी दैट ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया एंड वेस्टर्न घाट्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड सम पार्ट्स ऑफ सेंट्रल इंडिया येस्टरडे एक्टिव मॉनसून कंडीशंस वर प्रिवेलिंग so if we talk about the highlights of today then heavy to very heavy rainfall is likely to continue over konkan and goa madhya maharashtra and coastal karnataka for next 5 days and for today there is a extremely heavy possibility of extremely heavy rainfall over goa then if we talk about northeastern states then in northeastern states heavy to very heavy rainfall with isolated extremely heavy rainfall will continue for next 5 days then over central parts of india bihar and uttar pradesh also in next 5 days heavy rainfall spell is likely to commence then if we talk about monsoon trough so the location of today's monsoon trough is that it runs from jaisalmer bilwara raisin rajnandgaon puri and then it dips into central bay of bengal so the location of monsoon trough is below it means to the south of its normal position so therefore the activity to, uh, that today will be confined means the main activity which will be confined will, will be over the uh, konkan and goa then madhya maharashtra marathwada west up uh, west mp and gujarat regions that we will see in our next slides also so this is our uh, today's synoptic systems so here you can see that there is a cyclonic circulation over south gujarat then there is a cyclonic circulation over northeast assam the offshore trough runs from maharashtra to north kerala and there is a shear zone between 18 degree north and it is tilting southward with height so under the influence of these systems if we talk about the rainfall distribution for next 5 days then you can see that over northeast india for all next 5 days fairly widespread to wide, widespread rain so that is the more than 75% of stations in the in northeast india will be getting rainfall in next 5 days then if we talk about our western ghats and western peninsula then there also you can see that during next 5 days the rainfall activity is very good and around most most of the places in these areas will be getting rainfall then if you talk about northern peninsula and central india then there also you can see that during next 5 days many places will be getting rainfall and over northern parts of the country then uh, you can see that over himachal pradesh and Ut- uttarakhand the rainfall activity will be decreasing in day 1 then it will be increasing slightly over uttarakhand in day 2 then over most places over uttarakhand on day 3 day 4 and then a slight decrease of many places over uttarakhand on day 5 in if you talk about punjab and haryana then over day 3 and day 4 there is a uh, 
isolated rainfall activity which may happen over northern parts of Punjab and Haryana. So if we talk about warnings of next five days then you can see that for day one we have given red color warnings for Konkan and Goa in which the extremely heavy rainfall will be occurring over Goa. Then over SHWB we have given extremely heavy rainfall and over Arunachal Pradesh also we have given extremely heavy rainfall for day one. If we talk about SHWB then you can see that on day one, day two and day three on all three days this area is in red color. So red color is warning is issued for extremely heavy rainfalls over SHWB. Then if you talk about Northeast India, then in Northeast India you can see that on day one and day two extremely heavy rainfall is issued, warning is issued for Arunachal Pradesh and it is a red color warning is given. For Assam Meghalaya, uh, for, th for next three days a very heavy rainfall uh, uh, will be occurring there and for that we have given orange color warning. And for NMMT for day one and day two we have given yellow color, yellow color heavy rainfall warning. On day five again the whole northeast India will be under heavy rainfall spell. If we talk about our west coast, then our west coast you can see that for all the five days heavy rainfall activity will be continuing over west coast. And uh, for that uh, Konkan and Goa is in orange color for from day two to day five. And even Madhya Maharashtra is in orange color from day 3 to day 5. Over uh, Gujarat region, have very heavy rainfall warning is there for day 1. And from day 2, uh, only heavy rainfall warning is there. If you talk about central India, then you can see that MP, uh, our Vidarbha, uh, this region will be getting heavy rainfall activity for all the 5 days. Uh, then if you talk about today, then Rajasthan, will be getting heavy rainfall activity today also. And if you talk about UP, then you can see that this whole Indo-Gangetic uh, belt is getting, uh, we have given, issued a orange color warning and in this very heavy rainfall will be occurring from day 3 to day 5. On day 5 the rainfall activity is expected to slightly reduce and only heavy rainfall warning is issued. So, thank you for joining with us. Namaskar.